All right. So this is Precious Carol, and we are going to create a Yelp for business account today. So I've just come and Googled Yelp for business, and I want to claim my business on Yelp. I don't have an account, so I'm going to click right here. So I am going to my info in here so I can go ahead and get started I'm creating a free account to manage my Yelp page. All right. All right. So let's start with, do I want to save that? Yeah, save it. So hello, let's start with your business name. So my business name is I Book I Go. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. And add to Yelp for free. I'm gonna type in my business phone number. And I want them to text me a link to download the mobile app. So I'll select that and click continue. I'm gonna then enter my website. Let's go up to the top so we can make sure we have the full page. And what kind of business are you in? Travel services, travel agent. To help customers find your product and service, you can add up to three categories that best describe what I book I goes core business is. You can always edit and add more later. So I want it to be Let's see if resorts are on there. Let's see. Um, honeymoon? No. Wedding? Don't want to be a wedding planner, though. So, You will just leave it like that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put in my address. Continue. Do I want to put in my address? No. All right, so for my main street address, since that's optional, I'm going to leave that blank and I'm only going to put in the city, state, and zip code. Let's remove the zip code part and then let's see. This fill is required. All right, so maybe I'll put Chaco. There we go. Um, I know that the zip code, not Omaha, it's Get started by telling us how customers can reach you. So I'm gonna put my business name. Omaha, Nebraska. It's, it's looking red. Why is it looking red? Let's scroll down a little bit. It's red because it's required. Put them right 
there. I've got my business categories going. That is not my address. Doot, 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 doot. Okay. I'm going to click continue. All right, let's go. So they have sent me a code. Let me go ahead and go grab whatever code it is that they've got going on here. All right. All right, so I can start a free trial. I'm going to decline this offer. My Yelp free ads get 30 days for free, which more people cancel any time. I'll think about that later. Maybe I should do it, but I'll look into that later. All right, so it says that iBook I Go won't appear on Yelp until Yelp moderators approve your business. You'll be notified shortly when the status changes. Let's learn more. All right, so when you add a business to Yelp, it has to be evaluated by our, by our moderators before it appears in search results. If you have added a business recently, but you can't find it in search, it's likely that it still has yet to be evaluated. Please don't submit the same business multiple times. This process may take a while, depending on our ability to independently verify any submissions. And we will sometimes reject a submission if we're unable to independently confirm the business or if the business isn't eligible for Yelp. So let's go click on on that. So what kind of businesses are eligible for Yelp? Not all businesses are eligible for Yelp. We're mostly focused on traditional brick and mortar businesses and local service providers. We also feature mobile businesses, government services, parks and attractions, and anything else that fits the local scene. We typically remove ineligible business pages from our search results once we are made aware of them and request their third party search engines like Google to do the same, though they act on their own timetable. Note, however, that ineligible pages may still be accessible directly via their URL or from a user's content like photos, reviews that reference that business. All right, so I've created my Yelp account and we're gonna see what happens. I'll keep you posted.